Hello again, Berry Bashers. All right. Are we ready to party? I'm so ready to party. It's like I'm still on this Vegas high from the weekend, and then I leave for Miami for the Losers Cruise in like less than a week, or just over a week now. Um, and yeah, I just am in this total party zone right now. It's crazy. So tonight, we are meal prepping to get started. You guys all know that I'm such a believer in meal prep. It's why Lindsay and I decided to do the very best tonight, because I got home from Vegas yesterday. I had no meal prep done. I'm like, I need to meal prep. Um, so that's what we're going to do. All right. So all we do for the, okay, we're making two recipes. We're making a protein pan bake is what I'm calling it. It's a pancake, but baked in a pan um, instead of on the stove. I, I don't know why. I guess I'm lazy. But I absolutely despise, like, flipping pancakes and doing them in the pan and everything. But I love eating pancakes. Um, so anyways, we are doing just a pan bake, and we're going to see how that goes. I'm sure it's going to go wonderfully. What could go wrong, right? All right. So let's get started. It says literally dump all ingredients into a blender. That I can do. Um, all of these recipes, guys, will be up after. Ooh, awesome, Ada. Ada made the apple pecan chicken um, tonight, and uh, she loved it. I love it when you guys make the recipes. I saw Shannon was making the enchilada meatballs, or meatloaf tonight as well, so. Okay. Um, sorry, guys. Hey, Jackie, I need my red spoon. This is for the next recipe that I'm taking it out of the oven, so it doesn't yell at me. Or out of the microwave, I mean. Okay. Hi, Barbara. All right. So this called for sour cream. Um, this was originally a keto recipe that I've de-ketoed because um, I don't keto. So you could keto this if you are a keto person. You may know how to keto it. If you don't, I can help you. Instead of Greek yogurt, use sour cream. Step one. <laughs> okay. So there's our, whoops, I have close quarters going on over here. All right. Greek yogurt in. All right. Then it wanted two tablespoons of sweetener of choice. I'm only going to do one tablespoon because I've added protein in. Um, and my protein is sweetened. If you're using unsweetened protein, you will want two tablespoons of your stevia or whatever you are using. Um, one teaspoon of baking powder. Da -da -da, baking powder in. A quarter of a cup, sorry, I have my quarter cup measuring cups over here. A quarter cup of almond flour. There we go. That over there. It actually does want butter in here, so we're gonna put a little bit of this. It was technically for my next recipe, but we can always adjust. All right, two tablespoons of butter, and then I'm going to add protein powder if I can open it. Did you guys ever find that these protein powder jugs are so huge? Um, that's my problem, but I can never get them open. Okay. I'm going to start with one scoop of protein powder. I'm going to see how it blends. I may add a second scoop um, if it blends really good and my protein mixes in really good. Okay, so all of this in the blender. Come over here to the Ninja. And okay. Let's see how this blended. Hello, hello, Louise. Hello, Shauna. All right. Okay. This is all, oh, yeah, this blended. Totally fine so that we can definitely, it's really, really liquidy. So I know we can add more protein to this. Okay. This is awesome. Da -da -da. Hello, Lindsay Hack. Hi again, Trina. All right. I'm meal prepping as fast as I can, Lindsay, so you can make them sweat as soon as we're done. Mommy? Yes, honey? Sorry, my minion is here. <laughs> What's up, Eva? I saw it. All right, guys. 
that's blended. Okay, then we're gonna grab our pan here. Then we're going to spray our pan here. Hey guys! Lindsay tried to kill you, Robin. She may try again. She may try again. That seems like a Lindsay thing to do. All right, okay. Then literally we just pour our pancake batter in here. You see it's very, very liquidy, so I'm kind of curious as to how this is gonna work. You could also, I believe, make this as muffins um, if you chose to instead of like the bake. Um, and then, you guys all know how much I love dark chocolate. So I'm going to add in a couple tablespoons of dark chocolate and I'm just gonna scatter them throughout. Okay. Yep, we're gonna do two tablespoons. All right, and then this bakes at 425 for how long? 15 to 17 minutes, but I'm gonna check it after 10 because I'm using my convection. Be careful, Ava, don't touch that. All right, timer on, 10 minutes, timer starts, done. First recipe done in six minutes. Woo, we're winning, all right. Second one we are doing, I'm just gonna move some of this stuff out of the way, guys, and bring in the other stuff. I'm ready. Yes, yes, yes. Microwave, I hear you. All right, the next one that we're making is also actually a keto recipe. Um, but I just keto it a little bit as well. Uh, but not as much. This one will definitely be higher fat. But these are zucchini and cheddar muffins. They just sounded amazing. Um, so I definitely wanted to, I know a lot of people almost missed it because Lindsay and I kind of sprung this on you guys, not going to lie. We've been planning it for about a month now. Um, but sometimes Lindsay and I forget to tell you guys about things. Okay. In a bowl, put in zucchini. There we go. And it's about two cups of zucchini it asked for. Butter, which was about half a cup. Sounds good. Salt and pepper. Oh, that sounds awesome. Absolutely, Karen. Anytime you guys find, um, Karen said she found a bagel recipe today that calls for some stuff that she wanted me to take a look at. Absolutely. Anytime you guys find a recipe that you want to send my way and have me take a peek at, I'm happy to do so. Um, okay. So we got zucchini, salt, pepper, and butter in here. The next thing we want to do, yes, Jamie, the butter is melted. It asked for it to be melted. Ha -ha, thank you, Shauna. You know why my kitchen is clean? Because... <laughs> It's just me that cooks in it. It's kind of amazing. Um, when you're the only one that ever cooks in your kitchen, it's so easy to keep it clean. I remember when I was married and I was like, why is my kitchen always a mess? No, it's not. All right. It's six eggs is how many eggs it wants, so I'm just going to keep cracking these babies. Jamie, I really miss you doing all the hard work for me. Let me tell you. Jamie worked her butt off in our meal prep workshop. I had her cutting chicken, cutting onions, Stirring stuff. She was working her booty off in that meal prep. All right. Ha ha. Yes, Shauna. Your kitchen will never be clean living with teenage boys. Ooh, goody. All right. Um, I don't know what I want to mix this with. Sorry, guys. Where's Jackie when I need her to tell me what to mix it with? I'm going to use these big spoons. Okay. Six eggs and then some oregano. I feel like I want more oregano. I think it calls for two tablespoons. I'm just gonna keep putting oregano in. Oregano's good. Okay. Da -da -da. Oh, and baking powder needs to be. How much baking powder do I need? One teaspoon again. All right. Okay. Baking powder. Whoops, that's more than a teaspoon. Okay. Baking powder going in. There we go. Mix, mix, mix. Next thing that goes in here is the coconut flour. Remember, coconut flour really, really thickens things. Um, okay, so we need three quarters of a cup, which is quite a bit of coconut flour. Not gonna lie. Two, three quarters of a cup. That was a quarter cup mix, or measuring spoon, in case you guys didn't figure that part out. Awesome, all right. I already have a spoon. Sorry, you can hear Minion playing. 
And I'm going to drink some coffee in a second. All right. So, so stir this until it gets thick, which doesn't look like it's going to take very long. Because like I said, coconut flour absorbs so much liquid. So you actually, it didn't say that we had to um, take the liquid out of our zucchini. And I don't think you really have to in this case. Usually when you're um, using zucchini, you have to really squeeze the heck out of the liquid or out of the zucchini to get all the liquid out. But this is not liquidy at all at this point, um, just because of that coconut flour absorbing so much of it. So I think that's probably legit, and you probably don't have to really squeeze it. I strained a little bit out, but not a lot. All right, coffee. <laughs> and now a schwack of cheddar cheese. By a schwack, I mean a cup. It's a very precise measurement. All right, mix all of that in here. Now, if you wanted to make this paleo, um, for those of you who paleo, instead of butter, you could do coconut oil or, or another oil, avocado oil, something like that. Um, and then just omit the cheese. And you could use something else in place of cheese if you chose to. I don't know what you really replace cheese with, let's be real. All right, this is what it looks like. It's a pretty thick batter. So that is it, guys. Now I'm just gonna put it in muffin tins and then it's ready to go in the oven. And we're at like 11 and a half minutes and we almost have two recipes completely done. I was gonna make these in mini ones, but I don't think it's gonna work as well in mini. So we're gonna start with these. You guys always laugh at my like lack of kitchen tools. It's hilarious because I only have a six cup like big muffin tin, but I just never feel like I need more than six until right now when I'm like, maybe I do. We'll see. All right, putting these in here. Are you guys ready for Lindsay to torture you? I mean, work out with you. Mm -hmm. Lindsay, my body still hurts. I worked out twice with Lindsay on the weekend um, in Vegas and I hurt. And now I feel like I should just hide from Lindsay until um, next week when we're in Miami and she makes me work out again. All right. Okay, honey, we'll put that on in just one minute. All right. I remember yesterday, Lindsay, I was sitting on the airplane and I was like, ow, ow, it hurt. Okay, that's what they look like. I'm gonna try making some minis and see how they go. Cause then I can let you guys know. I feel like the thing I like about minis for things like this is I, I will use this as like a side dish. Um, so I'll often like just, you know, have chicken or whatever and then have like something like this on the side. So I like the minis because I can usually only do one. Um, if I do them, like more like the big ones, then it's almost a meal for me by the time I, and you guys can probably relate. All right. So it looks like this would probably make 12 of the big ones, um, 24 of the minis, or I'm gonna do six of the big ones and probably 12 of the minis is what it's looking like. And I'm not sure, and I will let you guys know how much they will rise because I'm filling these pretty full. So we'll see how that goes. Um, you could also change up your seasonings into these. I believe garlic would be amazing in these as I'm starting to be like, oh man, I can really smell the oregano, but I bet garlic would be incredible in this. Um, you could also mix up your cheeses, use different cheeses if you chose to. I sometimes like a really um, rich cheese, like something really sharp, um, and that would be really good in these. This is actually gonna make even more than I thought. Ta -da! And I have heard rumor that my muffin tins are large because sometimes when I say something makes um, six, you guys are like, no, it didn't. So, okay, we got 12 minis and six big guys and let's keep going. We'll have at least six more minis. Uh, Jamie, don't be scared. You're doing awesome on your treadmill though. That's so great, I see your posts, I love it. Yes, honey. You sure can, my love. Alrighty. My Ava did not want to leave me today, so she decided to stay with me. After I was gone all weekend, she was supposed to go to her dad's tonight, and she did not want to go, so that's why Ava is very bashing with us tonight. Alright. So these are going to go in the oven now. I feel like it was for like 12 minutes, but I could be lying to you. I'll tell you the truth in just one moment. So yeah, I got... 18 minis and six big guys. All right, and that's all she wrote, guys. Once the berry bash is over, I will, um, let me tell you how long these are going in for, 25 minutes, I lied. 
Um, so these are going to go in for 25 minutes. Once the berry bash is over, I will post the recipes for all of this. Those of you who are in the Sleek and Sassy exclusive program, we do have um, our weekly support call tonight at 6, so in like 15 minutes. Um, we are going to cut it short tonight because I'll be back in this group talking about macros again at 6.30 Mountain Time. So in just over, um, just under an hour, in 45 minutes. I'll be back in here and Lindsay will be doing the workout at six. So if you're doing the workout, jump on there. The call is recorded. You can come back to it later. The workout is also recorded. So pick and choose what you want to do. Lindsay and I like to give you options. So enjoy. Have a great night, guys. And I will see you guys again in about 45 minutes. Bye.